chameleon effect background. In 1999, psychology professors at New York University conducted experiments to study the phenomenon of the chameleon effect. They wanted to address the questions of whether people automatically copy each other regardless if they are strangers, if doing so increases the likability, and whether people who are more agreeable or more open to others' opinions display the chameleon phenomenon more. The chameleon effect can be like summarized to an unconscious mimicry of mannerisms. Okay. Design. Repeated measures we use with the same participants throughout the experiment in order to te testify their hypothesis. Experimenters wanted to further examine the chameleon effect through, social, through a social culture basis. However, some of the strengths that could be seen here were that um, within the study, um, they were able to further investigate the behavior. The experiment and the design of it was also consistent. And it other limitations that were seen as well were possible stress from um, environmental factors for the participants and they had a smaller applica applicability to um, the study and to other people. So the measurements of the experiment, the independent variable was behavioral mannerisms, which is uh, when they rubbed their face or shook their foot, and then the facial expressions they made of if they were smiling or not smiling. The dependent variable was the number of times participants mimicked behavior of the confederate, which is same uh, behaviors they did by the independent. And then the controlled variable was that they uh, did it all in a lab room. They looked at 12 images. Um, it was a one minute baseline time, and then 10 minutes of interaction with all the confederates, and the confederates tried to have minimal eye contact between all of them. For the procedure, uh, in the background, they had two male and two female serve as experimented and the confederates, and that changed throughout. They also had 12 images from different magazines, and that they ranged from different subjects, emotional or if it was ambiguity. In the room, they had two chairs that were 1.2 meters apart, and they were half facing the confederate and half facing the experimenter. For experiment one, the participant completed the experiment individually with the confederate and subject was brought to a room and observed for one minute by themselves. Then subject was told that a new projectile measure was being tested and it was required for the participant to describe photos in pairs. The pairs were given one minute to describe each photo however they wanted and then the after a confederate and subject completed three photo, the three photos, subject was then paired with another confederate and asked to do the same. After that, the subject completed the, brief, the briefing individually. For the procedure improvements, when obtaining the baseline measurement, participants were observed alone and not necessarily in a social environment, which means that in a social environment they could have done different mannerisms than if they were just by themselves. Also, the frequency of the mannerism by the confederate was not mentioned or recorded, and depending on how many times the mannerism was done, that could have affected the mannerism of the subject itself. Then mannerism of the confederates were not considered as a factor if they had any other mannerisms that were not necessarily part of the experiment. Uh, the results, this is only for the first experiment. Uh, subjects were noticeably copying the experimenter or the confederates. This was measured uh, through the independent variable again, like face touching, foot wide when they're smiling. Uh, face touching increased by 20% and the foot rate, or the foot movement rate increased by a significant figure of 50% than the original after they switched to a, another confederate. Uh, the ethics, um, the tests weren't harmful or misleading. There is slight deceiving to get them to um, go through the experiment. Uh, stereotyping wasn't an issue, and the participants had a wide diversity range. And participants uh, were videotaped and recorded, which was probably unknown to them. But after the experiment, um, they were probably debriefed about it. But the videos were still helpful for doing. Culture and gender factors. In culture, the participants were students at New York University and they were enrolled in the introductory psychology course. For gender, the participants were collectively 39 ma male and female students 
and another gender factor is that the Confederates and experimentals used were both male and female. And on page 897, it states that two male and two female assistants served rotating in the rows. That way, it um, there was more possibility of getting more validity in there because there wouldn't be just a reaction towards the specific genders because gender could have an influence in how people would like copy them. And also to note, from the 39 participants, four participants had to be excluded from the analysis, and this was because one participant showed suspicion of a confederate during the debriefing process, and three participants did not complete a consent form required for media analysis, and this is um, something that can be cultural for the debriefing process because the students were part of an introductory psychology course, but as well it's a question on ethics in the experiment because who said other participants didn't also have the same pattern but just didn't mention it at all. Okay. Also, the importance um, of the experiment shows that the conclusion um, of the effect of perception of behavior is an automatic response, which means that the person or the subject or pretty much anyone doesn't necessarily need to have a specific goal or relationship in order to establish the chameleon effect within themselves and um, newly formed or established groups can benefit from non-conscious mimicry um, which is the chameleon effect um, it shows that effective behavior coordination among group members and positive effects of liking empathy from chameleon effect benefits relationships um, due to being able to relate to one another and it can also shape initial feelings between group members in a positive direction